In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an interactive reading assessment using, using Google Slides that you can then send out to your students on Google Classroom. So here I have a PDF of an assessment for reading. And you can see I've got my reading passage. I've got some multiple choice questions. And I've got some written response questions. Um, and basically, I want to take this uh, assessment and I want to put it onto a Google Slide to make it easier. So to start, I'm going to get rid of these boxes. I'm going to change the layout of the page to match um, the layout of this paper. So I'm going to go to File, Page Setup, Custom. I'm going to change that to 8.5 by 11 inches. We can see now this looks more like a page. Now I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. I need to get it as an image. To get the highest quality image, I want to make it as big as I can while still being able to fit within the page. To take a screenshot on your Chromebook, hold down the Control key, the Shift key, and then there's a little Windows key right above the number 6. If I hold all those three down, uh, then I'll get the screen will go dark. I'll get this little crosshairs. I can click and drag this over the part of the page that I want to take a screenshot of which for me is just this right here. And then it gets saved down to my computer. Then I would go down to the next page and do the same thing and take a picture of every single page uh, for this assessment. Then I'm gonna come back to my blank slide and I'm gonna upload that picture as a background. So I'll click background, choose image, browse, I'll select that screenshot, click done. Now it's set as a background, and I set it as a background so that it can't be moved, so students can't uh, accidentally delete this image here. Uh, then, of course, I would just make another slide and upload the second page, and so on and so on. Eventually, I'll have a uh, presentation that looks like this. Okay, so I've got my first page, second, third. Um, all the way down. So now my students can be taking this, they can read the questions. If they need to go back to the text, they just scroll up. To answer these questions in a normal classroom, you would just circle them. So I want to provide a circle for students to use. So I'll come up to Shapes, Circle. I'll make it about that big. Uh, I'm going to set the border to 4. And I'm going to make it a nice bright color so it's easy to see. And then I'm going to make the inside transparent so that students can just drag it over the choice that they want. Uh, and if they have trouble dragging it, if they just highlight it, they can use the arrow keys to move it around like this as well. I'm going to make one of those for each question. So I'll just highlight that. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. I'll just drag it. Control V to paste another one, drag it down. Control V to paste another one. You can kind of see where this is going. I'm just going to drag all of these down. And I can keep going on this page. So I'm not creating a new one. I'm just pasting copies of my old ones. So I don't have to do the work again. Now when I get to my written response questions, I want to add a text box here. So I'm going to come up to text box. I'm going to draw it across the place that I want. Again, I'm going to set the border for four. I'm going to make it nice and bright so it's easy to find. And you can also, you know, change the size and the font to make sure it fits. And then if I want another one, I just copy that, paste it, drag it into place. What you end up with is an assessment where my students, when they come to this, they'll be able to read the questions. If they need to, they'll be able to look back at the text. They can answer questions by dragging uh, circles into place or simply by double-clicking and writing their answers. 